Hello and welcome to News Click. Today we have with us senior journalist T.K. Rajalakshmi and we are going to discuss the current scenario of media in our country. For the past two, two and a half years, we are seeing this clamp down on media. We are seeing this on government's part, this, they are trying to control the media. What are your views on that? Well, you know, there are two aspects to this whole thing. It's, it's a fact uh, that, uh, uh, that, you know, the media, in fact, today is under, you know, a lot of, uh, lot of pressure. Now, the media, uh, no, it's not that, uh, that there wasn't a kind of, you know, an inbuilt pressure on the media earlier too. Uh, like for instance, we have often used this term called self-censorship in the media. Now we find that there is uh, a very interesting report, you know, uh, you know, the Committee for the Protection of Journalists. Uh, it's an international organization and they have, uh, you know, they have recorded that there have been at least uh, 42 incidents, uh, you know, of, in fact, uh, you know, of uh, 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 violence against journalists where journalists have been killed. It's not just uh, it, it's not just simple simple you know violence, but they've been killed in India. Forty two instances that is since uh, nineteen ninety one. Okay, so so you have this twenty five year period of you know a liberalized economy, you know for more free free let's say in uh, you know media, and where you have these attacks you know on journalists too. Okay, now now if you come to the present context now in the last two and a half years since you uh, since you uh, in fact mentioned that it is you know i think uh, uh, i think continuation uh, of, of that process but but it's a uh, far more uh, let's say uh, the 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 kind of you know rhetoric uh, uh, and the kind of you know language that we have seen uh, in fact the ruling political party in the center and its uh, and its ideological affiliates use now it has it has uh, it has created a certain kind of an environment of uh, of uh, of deep fear you know as well as insecurity we have seen how a section you know the intellectual class uh, authors writers have scientists you know have responded to this and uh, they, have, they they also feel you know threatened you know we have uh, we have writers who have withdrawn their work uh, we have writers who have uh, who have been abused, you know, uh, on the blogs, you know, on the blogs, you know, and there's a lot of hate, uh, uh, you know, and a lot of vituperative, uh, you know, language which 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 has a lot of uh, violence in it, you know, which is used. Of course, it's all done under a cloak of you know anonymity. The social media is a place where you can say anything, you know, abuse anything. But but I think that uh, that uh, that the bulk of the abuse it it seems to be following uh, you know and coming from a certain pattern so now you have a, a, a certain trend now of course the media you know uh, is not free you know, was not free in any case okay it, it was sort of uh, circumscribed you know by several conditions some as i said you know inbuilt self censorship kind of conditions uh, it was also circumscribed by 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 let's say for instance the uh, entire nature you know of the ownership in the media okay where you have a lot of corporate influence now so so where the role of the editor itself is extremely diminished hmm. so when uh, when you have so many extraneous controls then then you have to ask you know how free is the media really recently the central government imposed a one day ban on a national television news channel uh, ndtv which was not implemented but uh, it it gives you a sense that the government is trying to penalize certain sections of media. What are your views on that? What, how do you articulate this? Yes, you know, most definitely, uh, you know, most definitely, the government is trying to uh, send, you know, a certain signal. Uh, uh, even, even if, uh, even if that that particular media house or the media channel would not have, uh, in fact, you know, warranted uh, such kind of action. But the government has, I think, uh, sent a signal, and it's and it's not just to them, but it's to uh, to everybody, you know, to fall in line. Now, now, now there are two two or three issues that uh, that need to be addressed here also. First of all, about the whole issue of you know whether that uh, that content itself was something that uh, that sort of jeopardized India's uh, security, you know, or uh, you know, or for instance, national security, isn't it? Because those are the grounds on which. Uh, uh, on which the government seems to have, you know, acted against, uh, uh, you know, against that particular channel. Yes, uh, yes, the channel went to court, 
and uh, and then the government you know put on hold its its order and it's a, it's a kind of a wait and a watch thing it's not entirely over so the case is in the supreme court so 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 i think one uh, so i think without you know going into that uh, too much in depth uh, but 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 one can of course definitely say that that this incident raised uh, questions of a certain subjective you know application of the government's uh, 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 of the government's fiat you know the you know the government's you know, diktat on this entire you know on the ndtv because because what they showed and what they aired it did not seem very different from what others had did uh, and uh, uh, and as far as the uh, as far as exposing the uh, the country uh, uh, you know and its you know and its uh, security that was also something which 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 sort of needs to be established in a very in a very cogent way with certain evidence it can't be just a statement isn't it uh, you have to uh, you have to show that that how that uh, how those particular actions you know subsequently uh, created a situation where where those uh, where those installments you know which were sort of discussed uh, you know actually were sort of you know uh, uh, you know it uh, were sort of um, uh, uh, you know in, uh, let's say become you know vulnerable okay hmm. two attacks from from across the border now uh, so a you know first of all is that thing now the second thing is that uh, is that uh, uh, is that whether the government should be entering into this sphere you know at all or not when we have certain uh, uh, certain rights of freedom and expression which are there in our constitution which are quite you know explicitly given isn't it so to so to use the cable television uh, network act the regulation act which has been sort of tightened you know in 2015 where certain guidelines have been given you know to report in such situations now you use that uh, you know you know as a handle to attack a particular channel hmm. and again as i said without any there's no substantive you know evidence so as i said that instead of uh, instead of resorting to the cable television regulation act uh, and which has been made more stringent in 2015 uh, uh, the the government should have you know exercised a, uh, you know a certain amount of uh, uh, judiciousness before sort of resorting to this this order by saying that you going to be off the air okay and and because we are the government you you have to you know sort of listen to us huh? so then obviously there was a reaction because it didn't seem to be a reasonable uh, uh, you know step huh? and here we had several journalists in journalist organizations who came together and they uh, you know and they took a position against the government uh, government's order because uh, as i said this feeling of insecurity uh, is now uh, at a stage where uh, everyone feels you know uh, vulnerable and and feels that you know they could be next if we do not to to a certain uh, a certain line or 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 if we do not appear to be uh, to be patriotic you know or nationalist enough the journalism as a profession it yeah. demands a certain courage as mm. well outside delhi when journalists report mm. in remote areas especially in bastar so they they face a, they face harassment even assaults mm. and nowadays we are seeing um, we are witnessing that even human right activists they are being attacked yeah yeah okay. so how do you see this this this, this situation this situation yeah, yeah. how do you see this uh, how do you see where the future of journalism will be yeah, yeah right absolutely because uh, because this situation itself you know as i said is the outcome of a uh, uh, you know of a certain kind of an atmospherics you know which has been built up uh, uh, and uh, you know and which is uh, which is which is a reflection of a certain kind of a uh, in in tolerant kind of politics okay uh, which which is being sort of pushed through you know either 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 by way of policy or you know or in language or in sheer action so uh, so you have a situation here you now we know in bastar we have a we you know this extreme poverty we know that uh, in fact the maoists you know operate in the jungles huh? and we have this state government okay which is which is which is going you know completely you know you know all uh, uh, you know, all out of way to to sort of you know Uh, uh, ensure you know the mouse star you know kept under control fair enough okay it's a law and order problem but okay you can see it as a you know that as far as the state government is concerned you know, every state government would have that particular you know right to do that but you know in the process but in the process again as i said is overreach this over zealousness huh, to to sort of view everybody with 
with extreme suspicion to see everybody as an agent out to overthrow the overthrow the the in fact the legitimate authority of the state so this kind of a paranoia huh? this, this 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 is this is something which is which which also seeks to divert you know uh, in my opinion uh, uh, to divert attention you know from the real issues that confront people so you so you create this entire thing of you know patriotism the nationalism huh? and you said no nobody ought to sort of question the government you know you know ever okay and 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 if you do it you know we are we are going to book you under the toughest laws of the country okay it, it could be sedition it could be anything so my last question is about print media okay. so in times where there is online media tv journalism social media is there where do you see the future of print media print has a great future i think print has a great future given the fact that uh, that a sizable population of our country is still you know, illiterate and uh, you know you know once they sort of reach that threshold you know of literacy and and further on i'm sure the the reading public is going to be uh, is, is is going to be much more uh, you know besides the internet coverage in our country is hardly anything is hardly it's just confined to the urban centers as well as in, you know as well as you know the metros huh? so so in terms of inter, uh, the whole online reading Uh, it's a very small section of people who keep on i think talking amongst themselves most of the time so but 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 the newspaper if you see if you, if you go you know to villages also you'll find that the uh, the panwala shop uh, or the or the tea stall or the dhaba or wherever bus stands if you find people reading you know people reading it's not that they're sitting in front of the laptops or their phones you know and reading news but this but, but they're reading people the local papers have been read so it's increasing so i think uh, uh, i think it's got a great future you know therein lies you know uh, i mean a greater responsibility you know of the print media to because 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 i think that the written word you know has a far far greater impact uh, as well as you know lasting influence on the mind i think so because the because the because the visual bombardment you know of images uh, uh, it tends to clutter you know in my opinion but 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 the written word you you can cogitate you can think forwards you can backwards you know gives you time you know to reflect uh, you know and that is something which which we should all aspire to to increase the uh, increase the numbers you know the reading population thank you very much for coming to our studio and sharing your views thank you very much